Welcome to Morgan's Fancies Part 2. My um, audio had frozen, so um, for those of you that um, stuck with it, thank you. And uh, here we go with Part 2. Let me just tell everyone that I'm back. It's moving now, so hopefully you can hear me. <laughs> I'll wait to, can, I was just about to start with um, my larger notebook because I'm waiting for this bad boy to finish drawing. Can you hear me? You might have to refresh. Maybe I'm going to refresh my chat to you. Okay. Boom. All right. Back in business. <laughs> See, even I have trouble. Well, actually, I'm having no trouble with my chat now, but in DD stream, for some reason, I go to type a, le a word out and then it'll like stutter for a second and then have like 10 million of the same letter pop up while you're type, trying to type something else. Anyways, what I what I was saying, I'll go back to the start, was this is my bigger notebook. It's 9 by 12 and it's um, a Curry's from the store um, Curry's Artist Materials. It's on the internet. Yay! Welcome back, lady! And uh, Prismacolor bar marker testing on the color. Uh, th this first one, I really love the cloak and the dress, but I don't like the face. <laughs> I need work on <laughs> some that three quarter position face. I struggle. Here's that same painting again. I haven't really finished it. I gotta finish it. Um, just with better face facial drawing I have to I'm almost finished it I have to um, blend the color pencil um, I use Gamsol to blend another girl this is um a lot of this is colored pencil blended with Gamsol guy drawing dreads <laughs> that's how we wanted to turn out sometimes uh, I have other ideas of what I want to draw and sometimes and literally the, the way the drawing is going if you just go with it it turns out totally different trying to draw eyes although I think that would look up like a pretty cool background for a, a painting it's just me trying to draw different kinds of eyes. Ah, it, it blends your pencils very nicely. If you like colored pencils, Gamsol is wonderful. Uh, it's going to be a chalice design. Brown haired girl. Lavender hair. I did better on the three quarter face there. Her head's tilted though, so it was a little bit easier. Me trying to learn how to do lips, although that looks like a butterfly there, doesn't it? <laughs> lips and um, profile face. Oh, 
Oh. Going to be a color. Speaking of standing stones, I did the standing stones. Standing stones. Symbol of Awen. Moon phases. Yet another version of, actually, I think I traced that one out from the one, yeah. That was on my light board. I, I traced it. Yeah, these are tracings. Is that a drawing or a tracing? I think that's a drawing. Another, oh, that's a tracing. Maybe these are all tracings. Because I wanted to do the coloring ooh, coloring book. That's Morgan. Yeah, these are because that's Bronwyn. That's my hubby. I use my hubby as a model. <laughs> I called this one the protector of Avalon. That's almost my final logo. Morgan's fancies. Almost my my final logo. And I the one I have up now I will probably end up changing too. Practicing lettering. Yeah, this is a huge book. Oh, I like how she turned out. I did a head piece on her. That was just a coloring. I want <laughs> more of an anime style for a guy. Another guy. Drawing my, I actually have that phone case. I was drawing my phone case. But I thought about Oh, that would be really cool if I if I did like cut files for little little cards or something the way he is. Nickel Keshi doll. My name. More lettering. More lettering. Actually, I like the way that turned out at the bottom. I had a book on lettering and I was trying to learn how to do the lettering. Started of a knot. I haven't finished her yet. I started her back in July. I gotta finish her. You can see some of my works in progress. Uh, that's gonna be a painting. Let me get right away. That's gonna be a painting or uh, probably end up in the coloring book. I was making dividers for my binders for Sisterhood of Avalon, so I have a lot of the goddess names written out, handwritten out in the brush letter. I think that's it. Did I miss? Wait a minute. I passed by over one. One of the other ones I was really proud of. Where did you go? There's you. Third. Oh, that's one of the other stencils I've got. <laughs> Me trying to draw. Oh well, there's one that I ha I have uh, um, the Oracle of Avalon, but I don't. I thought it was in this one, but maybe I'm wrong. See, I. <laughs> practice, 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 practice for lettering, um, and you probably have to re-practice because after a, a little bit, you kind of need a warm up. I'm I'm not practice, but you warm up. You need to warm up to get back to where you were because when you're constantly doing it 
your hands trained and yeah I wanted to do this okay this should be dry enough now yep it's dry yeah that's what I'm thinking too in standing stones I was trying to think of stencils that weren't done a million times like um, I know I was working on stencils when I found out about Paula's stencils which I'm not really happy about but <laughs> my first thought is like oh no stencils and then I looked at them and I was like well those are completely different than mine and I'm not trying to to be her or um, duplicate her mine are different so that's good we can both have stencils Goodness knows, I know I'm different. <laughs> okay. Hopefully, I just didn't ruin anything. So, um, no, don't put some more paint on because we'll just end up screwing things up. But the Celtic knot, yeah. Celtic knot standing stones. Um, I've got some masks that oh, I have to find my actual graphite pictures that I do or well I still do. I just haven't done one in a while. With standing stones and castles and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. It's just that monkey brain of mine. Can be pretty nasty and get in the way of doing things. You know, in a lot of ways, people think that I saved my hubby because he did go through a rough patch with things. But honestly, if he hadn't have been here, I wouldn't have accomplished a lot of what I'm doing. He's so supportive of everything that I do with art. And never once has he argued with me about things. He's always encouraged me. Even like the more expensive things like all the, the Copics that I bought this year. Uh, I'm very grateful for my husband because um, he really does have my best interests at heart where I've been in relationships in the past that that has definitely not been the case. Ooh, the background texture on this. Oh, wow. I get so excited when I pull and I get a really good pull. I'm glad I didn't put more paint on. Oh, you guys got to see this. It's like it's got crack paint on it. Let's see if you can pick up that detail. Wow. I'm trying to get the detail like right over right over here. There we go. It's like you put crack paint down. I hesitated for um, a long time. It's a little cockeyed, but you know what? I kind of like that fact. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. It came out as like, wow, I'm really liking that. That is so cool. And look how clean the plate came out. Like, of course, there's stuff on the, the edges, but. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> I get so excited. That's so funny. I 
actually was going through my stuff and um, from my mother-in-law, who's in a retirement home now. Oh, sorry, not a retirement home, long-term facility. So she's in a nursing home. Uh, I don't know if I can even open this, but there is a it, it's good paint because I can feel it squishy inside. There's paint in here, and I want to try the color out. I can't get it open. I'm gonna have to get my hubby to open that with his pliers. Okay, plan B. I have a couple of Liquitex Basics mats. They're opaque. One is Thalo Cyanine Blue, and the other one's Primary Blue. But I want to try this. <laughs> I can't even say it. That's so bad. Oh. Well, it's kind of a liquidy paint too. I probably put too much down, but we'll see. Well, maybe not. It's nice and opaque. That's what I like about this one. Roll it out. It's pretty bright blue too. All right. Ah, oh, let's try this one again. Reverse it. Let's reverse it. And it's a little bit wonky. Oh well, go with it. Just go with it, girl. Go with it. Except for I want here, let's use this one. I'm gonna have to get this out of the way because I'm gonna knock it and I don't want to get paint where I don't want it. Mopping up the paint where I don't want it. Picking up some texture on there too. Kind of making a frame. Test out my chat. Okay. There before I quit doing streams for a while, um, I really was having trouble with chat. So I'm still to this day always checking. Checking, 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 checking to see if my chat is still there, if people are still there, because I've had that experience before where people were there and I didn't know about it. And they're like, we're here. Okay. I think I'm going to For 
all this was was that first roll off piece. I'm just going to quickly don't even want it on there that long. Okay. And then we're going to take this one back over here for a second. And I'm going to try and sort of line it up. Kind of, sort of. I'm gonna try and edit my vlog tonight. Some of my vlog, though, I noticed on my footage last night was not quite in in frame, so I apologize for that. But it is what it is. It's gonna go up raw. The only editing I'm doing is gonna splice the the two two or three little segments together. I think it's two segments. It's drying it off. Okay. It's about as dry as that one's gonna get. Okay. I want that to dry. You can see it's good. When I pull the stencils up, it's when when it's getting that kind of cool texture. I want to let that sit for a minute. I'm gonna have to clean some stencils. Do I have anything else sorting? No, that's like paper. Got some other stencils I'm working on. The ink all rose. Yeah, I'm going to concentrate on the stencils first, though. Stencils first, and then coloring book. I will be right back. I need a little girl break. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Get so kidding me. Okay, good, it came off. I hate that when I get paint on my clothes. Okay, I'm back.
just refreshing my chat. <sighs> um, oh, okay, good. I still have four people, that's cool. Should be dry by now, but I'm just trying to figure out what I want to put. See if I have a metallic purple. I have a metallic purple. It's not that dark of a purple, so it should work. So this color is folk art metallic in what's the color name? Amethyst. You can see my painty hands. Leaving the bottle of things, it just might have to. I don't want to do it more than that because it'll start to get off the paint. I don't want that. Actually, I think I want to let that dry and put some white over it. I have a big thing of white. I just can't remember where I put it. This is pretty. Maybe I'll look for that white. People still here? If you're still here, let me know. Okay. <laughs> Gotta love the lag. Love the lag. I'm going into my drawer down here that's all full of my mediums. Oh, that's gesso. It's not what I wanted. Yeah. Got some. Uh, let's take the gesso out of the way. Ah, I knew I had a big thing of white. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Um, this is from Bijan Art Studios. It's titanium white. It's going to be a little bit thicker consistency. Let me get a palette knife out of here. And I found some more notebooks. Although, I don't think there's much in here. No. Those ones are my marker paper ones. It's Bristol mixed media. That's empty. That's empty. More empty ones. Heck, did I do? Oh, that's still my other one. Not what I'm looking for. Oh, maybe it's in this one. So while I'm waiting for that uh, metallic paint to making a mess here, <laughs> get everything out on stream and. Let's move that before I accidentally put that on my mouth. Shut that. Put those back in my drawer. Because I'm running out of room. Can't have everything out at once. So 
Okay, put this back over here. Okay, because I really don't want pecking on paint on this one. This one's a nice hardcover one, and I had it the right side. Oh. oh, that's where this one is. Okay. This is another one from a story. It's called The Horse Tamer's Daughter. And if you knew the sign, uh, there's more than one moon in that world, so. Uh, me playing with watercolors. Oh, geez. Didn't realize it wasn't in frame. I'm trying to get together with water. Whoa! Doesn't like the white. <laughs> Hold on. Another one. That's the one I was thought it was in the other notebook. It's called the Oracle of Avalon. It's one of my favorite ones that I've done this year. Is that all I have in this book? Oh, and that's all I have in this one. <laughs> Let's see what I mean. I have 10 million ones going on at once. I have finished them before. It's just... Yeah, it's a brand new one. I just tend to grab for whatever I'm attracted to and trying to find other ones. Nope, that's another empty one. That's it. Let's get books. Oh, more stencils, but I'm not going to pull those out because those aren't the ones that I want to press today. The rest are just like canvases. I don't even know where my book is right now. I think that's downstairs. I have one copy of the book that I uh, <laughs> did all the artwork and um, poetry for. Oh, I didn't get that. I went over for that one. I didn't get it. Oh. It's available on um, lulu.com. If anybody's interested. Um, did that oh, about five years ago. I just haven't really promoted it like I should have. I didn't have the time really. This is a bit thicker paint, so I'm hoping what I'm hoping to do is that the, the background will end end up being lighter. That's what I'm trying to do with the white. We'll see what, how that turns out. This is a thicker paint. Yes, she did have sort of a halo on that picture. Tell a little goes a long way. On, oh, I don't want to do it too much though, because this was starting to pick up the blue underneath. I don't want it blue coming off completely. Okay, start with a fresh sheet. They say this is supposed to be eight and a half by eleven. Or is it eight by ten? Maybe it's eight by ten. Oh well. I really don't mind getting that stuff on the back. I just really, really want. 
that's another uh, the Bijan is in London, Ontario. Um, it's another really good store that I go get my art supplies at for local. Um, I, I try not to go to um, Michael's unless I have like a 50% off coupon or something. Something I can't resist <laughs> type thing. Um, I try to support my local stores. There's also one McCullough's in, uh, in it's where I get my PBOs mostly. Um, McCullough's in St. Mary's. There's Wyndham Arts or Wyndham Wyndham Arts, excuse me, in Guelph. Um, of course, Karen Ellis's store I go to when I'm in Cambridge. Uh, Stamp Art in London and Ontario is one of my favorite ones. I can take that whole store home. Um, Scrapping Turtle, uh, Scrapping Bug. Although I'm not frequenting those so much anymore because I already got all my Tim Holtz stuff pretty well. Like I don't, I'm not. I have lost. Haven't been able to keep up with the, the new colors. Eventually, I'll get them. But um, I like art stores, art stores. Like this one's unique because um, uh, Bijan's is unique because it makes its own um, paints as well as sell, as sell name brands. And lots of times I go in and um, that's where I'll get some of my latex, Liquitex ones just to try them out. He has them on sale. So it's like, oh, let's try it out. Oh, good. That did work. Ooh, 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 ooh. The bottom didn't quite come out as I wanted it to, but I am liking that. I still think that would be really cool. Wow, I'm really, really liking that. Pull it away from. See if I can get another pull on that. If I could, I'm gonna do a clean up print actually. My bed is getting so full. <laughs> That's okay. Looking forward to doing some journals. All right, I want to do some. Yeah, I'm just going to do a clean up print of this white. <sighs> just reversing that. I have put too much paint on. <laughs> Oops. But I really want to make sure I'm going to clean this up. Right. Time I clean my brayer too. It's starting to uh, I don't know. I, I, I can always tell when I need to clean my brayer. Okay. Because it's just, it starts picking up or it starts getting in these spots, I guess you could say. It's going to have texture. See, this white is just pulling stuff off of my. Can you see that? It's pulling stuff off the brayer. 
It's kind of interesting. Huh. Sorry, I got distracted by getting it's pulling layers of paint off because it's a thicker paint. That's kind of interesting. I love backgrounds. I'm a background fanatic and I like making backgrounds. I just got to find uses for my backgrounds. Last time I gave most of my backgrounds, a, well, I still have the angelic paint, but a, a lot of the swaps that I was doing for the, the boxes and, and, um, whatnot, I had given away a lot of handmade backgrounds. And I was thinking that's another thing I might put in the shop too, was some backgrounds. Like making little packages of them or something or die cut some, uh, die cut some shapes. I'll think it's ready to come up. Textured. Very textured. Interesting. Okay, I'm probably going to do it on the same thing. There's a pokey tool when you need one. Know where my pokey tools are at the moment. I have to look through. Yeah, just take the lid off then. Wanted to get them out. Anyways. Everybody busy working on things? What you working on? I'm going to try and clean up my plate and I think I'm going to call it an afternoon. I really, really, really appreciate you guys spending your time with me. 
No, that didn't pick up anything. Although, it got a nice wash of color on that page. It's a layer. Oh, thanks. So. This time, a very thin layer. Let's try that. <sighs> okay, good. Sounds not frozen. Thought sound was frozen there for a second, but it's not. I'm wondering. Sometimes you can get an impression. See if it shows up underneath or not. Wow, look how clean that's coming out. Woohoo! Yeah, the, the knot didn't come through, but that's okay. It picked up what I wanted it to pick up. So, it's a background. Okay, I think I'm about jellied out right now. <laughs> oh, almost three hours of it. Yeah, I, I think this was a very good day. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to stop the recording here. And um, if you had fun, give it a like. And uh, if you want to see other things or suggest things that you want to see me try, either on live uh, Ustream or on a video, just uh, leave a comment down below. Thank you.